This is question number five from the May 2019 Edexcel AS Pure Mathematics paper. Okay, and it's relevant for year 12 and year 13 students within the UK. Okay, question number five. A curve has equation y is equal to 3x squared plus 24 over x plus 2, where this is what I call my like um condition so my boundary so x has to be greater than zero obviously it can't equal zero because then it wouldn't actually satisfy this equation okay for part a find the simplest form do by dx so differentiating so writing it in power form so writing it in index exponent form i have y is equal to 3x squared plus 24x to the minus one plus the two okay Hopefully you're happy that 24 over x can be written as 24x to the minus 1 and then plus the 2. So working out, so differentiating this, guys. Okay, so dy by dx. So differentiating this. The power comes down as a multiplier and then the power comes down by 1. So I do 3 times 2, which is 6. Okay, and then the power comes down, so it's just 6x. Okay, so 6x to the 1, or we write it as just 6x. Differentiating this, 24 times minus 1 goes to minus 24. And then it goes to x to the minus 2 for that and then differentiating constant just goes to zero okay so that just differentiates to zero okay for that okay so that's part a guys again i can write this in a number of different ways i can write it as 6x minus 24 over x squared that's also allowed okay for that for part b hence to find the exact range of values for which the curve is increasing so this is when dy by dx okay is greater than zero okay so when the curve is increasing so when the derivative is bigger than zero okay it's a quadratic curve okay so we're essentially solving okay this equation but i'm going to write it like this just so we're happy for that okay for that okay so timesing everything by the x squared okay that's gonna go to 6x cubed okay take away the 24 now when i multiply by x squared actually the actual sign actually reverses so it goes to like this okay so it goes to less than zero Okay, so that's like an important factor. Timesing everything by x squared, guys, the sign actually switches. Okay, so taking out a common factor of 6, so I have 6 brackets, x cubed minus 24 is less than 0. Okay. For that, okay, so we're going to have... Okay, if we solve this, okay, divide both sides by 6, so I get x cubed, okay, minus 24 is less than 0, okay, so we end up having, if we solve this inequality, guys, we have that x is less than, okay, the cube root of 24, so x is less than, okay, the cube root of 24, Okay, now because the question says find the exact range of values, okay, so x is less than the cube root of 24, that's when the function is increasing, okay, for that. So when x is less than, okay, 24 to the power of a third, okay, that's when I have an increasing function, okay, so 24 to the power of a third, okay, for that, okay. Question number six, guys. So figure one shows a sketch of triangle ABC with AB equals 3x, AC equals 2x, and CAB is equal to 60 degrees. Given that the area of the triangle ABC is 18 root 3, for part A, show that x is equal to 2 root 3. So using the sine rule for the area of a triangle, so a half AB sine C equals the area. So a half times... 6x squared, so half lots of 6x squared, okay, times by sine of 60, now sine of 60, we should know that's equal to root 3 over 2, okay, but again, if you're unsure, 
you, you can just enter that into your calculator and that has to equal 18 root 3 okay so let's let's just do a bit of rearranging so i'm going to have 3 x squared root 3 over 2 so 3x squared root 3 over 2 is equal to 18 root 3 okay multiply both sides by the 2 so we get 3x squared is equal to sorry 3x squared root 3 is equal to 36 root 3 Okay, and then I can divide um, both sides by the root 3. Okay, so I can divide both sides by root 3. So that's going to go. So I get 3x squared is equal to 36. Dividing both sides by the 3, we get that x squared is equal to 12. Okay, so x squared is equal to 12. Okay, and then x we should know okay is plus or minus root 12 now remember that in this case we disregard the minus but i'm still going to solve it like i do normally but now i'm obviously going to ignore the minus root 12 now root 12 is actually a said that can be simplified it's root 4 times root 3 so it's root 4 times root 3 which is equal to t um, 2 root 3 guys okay so let's just write it over here. So that goes to 2 times root 3, which is going to be 2 root 3. Okay, as required, okay, for part A. For part B, it says, hence find the exact length of BC, giving your answer as a simplified third. Well, now that we know what, what X is, okay, I can use the cosine rule to work out what um, BC is. Okay, so... Let's just really delete this actually. Now that we've actually got our answer, okay. Okay, so. 2 root 3. So if I times this, then I'm going to have 4 root 3 here. And then I'm going to have um, 6 root 3 here. Okay, for that length. Okay, so BC, we're going to use the cosine rule. Okay, so cosine rule, hopefully you've met that at GCSE. Okay, so it's a squared plus b squared okay minus 2ab sine c okay so it's going to be 4 root 3 okay all squared plus 6 root 3 all squared subtract okay two lots of so two so it's going to be um 4 times 6 is going to be 24, times it by 2 will be 48, root 3 times root 3 goes to 3, so I'm going to have 48 times 3, so let's work that out quickly, so 48 times 3, 8 3 is going to be 24, 4 3 is equal to 12, plus the 2 is equal to 4, so I'm going to have minus 144 cos of 60, okay, now, cos of 60, guys, just to be clear, cos of 60 is the same as saying sine of 30. So, cos of 60 is equal to a half. Okay, so I'm going to be taking away, obviously, 77. Okay, so that, that, that just becomes 77. Okay, and remember that I've got to obviously take the square root of all this, guys. Okay, so taking the square root of all this. Okay, so simplifying this, 4 root 3 squared. Well, 4 squared goes to 16. Root 3 squared goes to 3. 16 times 3 goes to 48. So I have 48, okay, plus... Okay, now 6 squared goes to 36. Root 3 squared goes to 3. 36 times 3, okay... I believe is 108, let's just double check, 6 3 is good to 18, so carry the 1, 3 3 is a 9, plus the 1 goes to 10, so 48 plus 108, take away 77, and that's all under a square root, okay, now I can just enter those numbers into my calculator to make it a bit easier, okay, so 
44, sorry, 48 plus 108, okay, take away 77, goes to root 79, okay, as that, okay, now, I don't think that can actually be simplified, okay, because that's obviously, yeah, the actual third, okay, so the answer I got for part B is root 79, now, I did do that pretty quickly, so I may have made a mistake, please obviously let me know in the comment section or in the live chat if I've made a mistake, so for part B, I used the cosine rule that we did at GCSE maths, which is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab sine c, Oh, sorry, um, cos C, sorry, not sine C. Remember that cos 60 is equal to a half, okay? And I got the answer of 79, okay? I may have made a mistake, guys. If I have, then please obviously let me know in the comments section, okay? Because I, I, I did that pretty quickly. But we are using the cosine formula that we did at GCSE Maths, K okay, for part B. And then part A, we use the sine rule for the area of the triangle, which is a half AB sine C, okay? For the area of a triangle, okay? And part B, we use the cosine rule, okay? Which is A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos C, okay? And then obviously, yeah, it's square rooted to work out your length, okay? for that okay right guys that's the end of today's short sharp video looking at the exam questions for the as pure maths okay as ever please like please comment please share and subscribe and i'll see you all inside the next video okay bye for now